We are two weeks into the ice show season and I can't wait to show you some of the cool stuff that I've picked up already this year. All right, so we'll get started here going left to right, just really high level of the stuff. I wanna show you guys this in case you're interested, you see something you like and you wanna pick it up. I'll link everything down below so that you can check it out. So starting with this guy right here, this is a double-sided jig case. It's got the foam slits in it. Uh, Kenders makes these as well. Uh, I actually compared one of these with the Kenders guy at one of the shows. I said, what's different than uh, from the Kenders one to the Clam one? And the answer is absolutely nothing. It's exactly the same. The Clam ones are $10 cheaper retail price than Kenders. They also have a super slim medium jig box. I like being able to see the jigs. This has got the slits in it. Uh, this thing is going to be great. It works really well for the low profile tungsten jig. So that's how I'm going to use that guy. Then we've got the real anchors. I usually use castration bands on my rod uh, handles. I've got a rod here actually. So if you don't know what these do, they actually go right around here to hold your reel on. So that way you don't need tape. I got a few different colors of those from 13 Fishing. Then I also picked up some of the brand new, the Pinhead Pro Minnows, as well as the Jointed Pinhead Pro Minnows. These are the new ones. They're like a zinc versus a lead style. They're a little bit lighter. They have more detail in them. Anyways, gold, Wonder Bread colors. Absolutely love them. They're my go-tos on the ice, so I got those. Amped Outdoors. So this is something new that they came out with this year. It is a QC 3.0 USB charger. Uh, it has uh, clips in the back. You can hook it up to your Amped Outdoors battery or any lithium battery that you have. Um, I got a couple of these. They're great to put in a shuttle, put in your shack or anything like that. And then this big guy in the back here. So this is a firehouse tip up. I'm excited to try it. These are not cheap. This is $130 full retail price. I'll put a picture in here of how this works, but essentially it opens up into a cone shape on the ice and it helps insulate the hole. You can pack it in, it covers it up and you've got this super bright light on the top. It's almost indestructible. It's a half mile visibility of this light. Again, I'll put a link to it down below if you wanna check it out. I only got one because I wanna make sure it works for that price uh, before I jump into it. But everybody that I know that's tried these things highly recommends them and says, once you try them, you won't use any other tip up, which I find hard to believe, but we're gonna find out this year. I also have some of the Frost Floral Ice Line. I love this stuff. I've never used their two pound before, but I'm gonna try it this year. These smaller reels have 50 yards. They do have bigger reels of the line, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I just picked up a few of these. It's not cheap line, but it is my go-to. I use it on all of my rods. I run straight fluoro on absolutely everything. I go up to six pound or maybe even eight pound depending on the species that I'm trying to target. But I always use this frost fluoro ice. I don't think I've used anything else on any of my ice uh, reels over the last five or six years. While we're talking about reels here, these are my go-to ice fishing reels uh, when I don't need a bait feeder style. So this is the Daiwa QZ750. Uh, you get halfway through the season and these run out of inventory. They are not super expensive. They're $59.99. Uh, so they're, I would say, medium priced. They're not the cheapest out there, obviously, but I absolutely love them. They have a great drag system. I do have a Kishler custom rod here from Alan Kishler. Uh, more about this later in the season here, but I'm excited to try that guy out. But these reels, I like that the handle folds down on them. It makes it really easy for when you're gonna be going and putting it in a rod case or anything like that. This is a Heat Hog heater. So I actually had Heat Hog send me this. Heat Hog has three different heaters out. They have two that are bigger than this that I bought last year and they're unique. I'll be doing a video on them here later, so stay tuned for that. But this is their 4000. They call it their little piglet heater. So I'm excited to try this out this year. I haven't, don't have any experience with it, but it's one of the ones that goes right on the top of a one pound portable tank. They supposedly have the curved panel technology. They've got a lot of really cool stuff on it. Otter Pro Shelter. This is one of the things that I saw that they released this year that I'm really excited about. This is the storage and battery tray. So the way that this works, in their Pro Series flip overs where you've got the middle bar that goes down and then you've got your two seats in the flip over shacks, you have the angled space in the tub that's really hard to use for anything. 
The way that this is made is you can see it straps around that middle bar and then you can screw it right into the front if you want. You can hold batteries in here, the spot for two of them, and then you have like a tray for accessories. So that's exactly what this is. There's your two battery spots right there. Here's where your straps on the side here go around that middle bar and then you can throw a screw in there to the front. One of the things I'm gonna try, I do have an XT hideout from Otter. It's their one man flip over. I, I, what I'm wondering is if you can put two of these side by side in the back of the sled and then you can use all that space in the front. It, these won't, will not fit on the front and the back of that bar. They'll only fit on the front side of it just because of the way that it's spaced out. But I'm excited to try it out. More to come on this when we get into some of the shack mods later this year. We've got Euro Tackle. These are some of their new jigs that are intended to give you better sonar returns because of the shape of the head on them. I'll try to get a couple of close-ups here so you can see them. When you have the jig down in the water, what's pointing up is a flat surface on the top here, and that's gonna allow the sonar pings to hit this and bounce back off, and you're gonna get a better return on your ice fishing electronics. And these are all tungsten. This is their kit that they have available online where it's two of each size and color that they offer. We've got clamps. So this is the Super Slim large jig box. If I bring it over here, you can kind of see this is their medium jig box. They do have a smaller one, but it was too small for me. This is the, the large one that they have and then the double-sided. We've also got handcrafted injection tackle lures. They have a special infused sauce that's in them to give them scent and flavor. They are absolutely tiny. And what's nice about them is they don't actually feel like plastic you know what i mean like they're more pliable uh they move around a lot easier in the water uh definitely a finesse or a micro finesse style bait i'm excited to try them out they're made right here in minnesota then behind that we got the clam backpack here so this is going to be my my backpack that i'm going to use this year for all my tackle and stuff it comes with this rod case thingy on the side but it only fits like two rods in it i like to go even if i go uh portable and I want to go out on the ice, I usually bring three or four rods at a minimum. Usually try to bring about six out just so I don't got to be swapping out things all the time. So I picked up this guy. This is a Rapala double barrel bag. It is a soft bag. But what I really like about this bag is that it does have the hard, two hard plastic tubes that go all the way up in the top, all the way down. You've got a base in there. And you've got plenty of space for your reels in here. So I'll do another video just on how I have my portable rods and backpack set up this year. I used a different backpack the last three years that I loved, but it didn't have enough pockets. It was a little bit tight when you were trying to get into the top of it. This one is a lot more roomy. It's actually lighter empty than the previous backpack that I was using. This thing should strap right onto the side just like Clam has theirs on there right now. Then we've got the seat back storage from Clam. Uh, this thing just looked nifty, right? I mean, how many chairs and, and seats do you have between your ATV, your ice shacks, like all that stuff? This thing's gonna come in handy. I just picked up one, but I have a feeling I'm probably gonna be picking up a few more. Pretty simple thing. I also picked up the Clam Vertex gloves this year. They have the 133 grams of Primaloft insulation. They're fully waterproof. They've got a really good grip on the front of the gloves. They're not super heavyweight. They're not super thin. And so I think they're gonna be that really good medium glove. So we got the Clamlock LED light. So you probably know about the Clamlock system. If you don't, look it up. They've got a ton of different accessories. They're like pucks that you can mount onto your wall of your hard sided. You can put it on the hub inside of like your flip over shack or your hub house. I'm thinking of putting this on the back of my ATV off the side of my Otter box so that I can point the light and it's rechargeable so I don't gotta run wires to it. The Otter Universal battery tray. So I've got a couple flip over shacks. I wanna put a smaller battery in and keep it off the bottom of the sled. You throw your battery in there. You put a Velcro strap across the top and you mount it to the side of your sled. The Plusino, I don't even know how you pronounce it, fishing rod rack. I thought it was a pretty nifty design where you push your rods up, gravity holds them in there. This is something that I'll probably use for my open water rods now that we're in ice fishing season. And last but not least, Cold Snap Outdoors. These are the toothpicks. If you have not tried their V2, their Gen 2, I think it came out two years ago. Try these things, they are absolutely awesome. I lose them, I give them to guys when I'm out fishing with them. I've broken a couple of the tips. 
They're awesome. This year they came out with the new red color. So check that out. They have the shorter ones. They have the longer ones. These are awesome. I love them. They're cheap, but it's a great tool to have. So that's just a few of the things that I picked up to get this ice fishing gear started out. Check out this other video on the channel. Stay tuned for more and let's do it.